Hello, ma'am. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hmm. Acha, you have changed your name as alumni. <laughs> Why is the relation? Nee, uh, I have uh, joined through that mail only, na? Alumni wali se. Alumni wali mail. Hmm. Usse account create kiya new account. Acha, acha. Okay, okay. Fine. Chalo, let him. All good. All good. So welcome. Uh, just uh, we are waiting for the students to join. Then sure. we'll Hi, Manshu. Morning, ma'am. Uh, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Manshu? How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm fine. <clears throat> Actually, ma'am is also joining us today. Oh, great. Uh, well. <laughs> uh yeah i just saw that machine money money shama is now actually uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yes so she will be also joining great let me send a reminder to all the students it's 11 o'clock huh? okay so good morning guys uh, see uh, this event is basically for the final year students only so we have our chief guest here uh, the guest here himanshu sharma so basically uh, see himanshu is uh, the pass out na 2019 pass out right he is of uh, 2019 batch and uh, he has been placed in a top mnc sonic wall inc and uh, he is your senior so he will guide you that how you will be uh, you know polishing your skills to get placed in the mnc so he is working there as a senior associate engineer and uh, so not taking uh, much of your time i'll hand over to the himanshu so he will guide you and uh, he will start with the webinar now okay himanshu so you can start with it hi guys <clears throat> good morning to all of you uh, i hope you guys are having a great day uh, i guess there were some mistakes of yours so i hope that they went well <clears throat> because uh, that's a decent amount of pressure on students uh, so uh, since you guys are in final year most of you are uh, now planning ahead uh, about joining the industry how the things in the industry will be and <clears throat> uh what you need in terms uh of uh what expectations you can have and what knowledge you should have to get a good uh, job in the industry so uh today we will be talking about most of these things uh so let me share my screen uh so to be honest when i was in the university i used to make good presentations but since i have been in the industry mostly my work have been writing code and fixing things so please don't have high hopes that i'll be having a very good ppt <laughs> uh okay this is so uh let's uh start the things with who am i uh and uh, why we are talking today so i'm himanshu sharma i am a software development senior associate engineer at sony qual inc uh so the industry of the company is uh, basically uh, the <clears throat> internet and network security uh, the company makes products uh, in the domain of network security we have vpns firewalls uh, and uh, threat protection engines related stuff uh, i am an alumni from chandigarh university i did my masters and passed out in 2019 batch uh, i got uh, two placements from the uni university uh, took one and uh, 
started my internship in Bangalore for a company called Navigus. While my time there, I learned about stuff. And since I was in a very good place like Bangalore, uh, which presents you with a lot of opportunities, I kept on trying for other interviews. And uh, that's how I ended up in Sonicual. Uh, so what we'll be talking about mostly. Uh, so in my experience that in the, from campus to industry, it's a journey, uh, a lot of things change. And uh, I, I, I try to explain how and what I think change and how I tackled all those things. And then uh, we'll talk about what's actually in demand in the industry so that uh, you guys have a better grasp on, on the technologies which uh, you should be focusing on uh, from a job point of view. And in the end, uh, we'll have some Q&A. You ask the questions you have on your mind and I'll try to answer them the best I can. So uh, let's uh, really talk about uh, the journey first of all. So the change that you see when you start a job and come into corporate from a campus is mostly something that uh, a lot of you guys would uh, feel a little weird. So first thing that I've seen in my experience is that, uh, that uh, with some people there is always uh, a problem where they cannot sit for long hours. So the first thing that I consider university taught me was, so uh, I really liked the discipline which was there. You took classes for like eight hours back to back. You really did a lot of hard work there. And that uh, discipline actually comes in handy when you actually join the industry because uh, then you have to sit for long hours and that six to eight hours of sitting, which you did in the university will actually come in handy when you have to be in a job for eight hours, because uh, trust me, uh, the uh, industry is a lot more fun and sometimes a lot more uh, stress from uh, the classes, because then you will be actually dealing with uh, real problems and you will be the one trying to solve them. So uh, all those uh, things will be fun and frustrating both at the same time. So uh, now what uh, things I think the journey requires is, so uh, you need to be patient because uh, when you're in the final semester, uh, you're actively trying to get a job because uh, I understand the pressure. The, there is a peer pressure, which is like, okay, these many people were in my class. These many got placed. These many got placed in good companies. And uh, that thing starts building up on you as a peer pressure. Uh, then obviously we live in a society. So we have some social expectations. So under all that pressure, sometimes uh, you cannot really focus on giving your best. So uh, what I used to do was, uh, I used to forget about everything when I'm sitting in a placement drive or sitting in an interview, like just focus on what you can do there rather than what other people did. So, uh, I'm talking about the pressure thing by experience because uh, I got placed in January, which is technically when the next semester starts. I was there in the next semester for some point of time, then I got placed and I came for the uh, thing. So the first six months was not really good for me in terms of placement. Uh, but that doesn't mean that I stopped trying. I uh, kept on trying and uh, I kept on uh, evaluating what are the things which is not uh, 
really my plus point and what are the things which i'm really good at so if there is something you are really good at you should focus on uh uh the that skill more so that uh, when you are in the interview that skill should pay off more to you uh say i was good in uh technical encoding and i was not really good with uh, aptitude so what i uh, focused was mostly that whenever there is a interview or whenever there is a shortlisting round say there is a test you focus on the questions you think you are better in first if you if you have a better aptitude and you don't have a good grasp on english don't try to do that thing first always focus on your plus points then this uh, then later on if you have time you can go for something that is okay this is not really i'm very good at but i can do this and then this is something i can try so this will help you to uh, clear up more and more things so uh since uh, even after the university when i was uh, doing my internship i kept on taking interviews and through the process uh, so i don't personally believe that uh, it is a very good uh, way to uh, try to track down how good you are in aptitude because technically i haven't done any mathematics after i actually started the job so uh The, but still they want a minimum criteria to filter out the iq level that's uh, mostly what the reason of those tests are so when they are trying to test your iq you should be focusing on your plus points rather than actually trying the sequence of the paper don't don't really worry about the sequence of the paper do what you do better so uh since being in the university uh, uh, being in the university i was mostly focused in the scenario where uh, there will be a test first which you would need to clear in order to get to interviews but uh, the experience of past two years and uh, the experience is uh, of my second placement for which i was doing the internship that was more of uh, that uh, a lot of companies a lot of startups they offer good pay and they want a particular skill set rather than a general category people so the hiring process works in two ways they hire people they train them on specific technologies and then they give them work and what startups and small companies generally want is they want someone who already know something so that they can start making money from those people as soon as possible so uh, this thing pays off in terms if you already have a skill so say for example someone is a very good uh, web developer he can write a very good web front end so there will be particular companies and you have to filter them out and you have to figure out uh, and those companies will be actually focusing on your skill set rather than the general uh, criteria because i know like uh, most of you guys were either be uh, uh, thinking that uh, how should uh, you guys why should you guys are not really able to get to more interviews and stuff so you have to highlight the things that you are good in in your resume and you have to use the buzzword so uh, this is another experience from uh, looking at other people's resumes uh, from submitting resumes to a lot of places and actually getting my resume filtered out so uh to be honest i sent like 30 times my resume to ibm and uh, a long time later i understood why my resume never got uh filtered out so there is a lot of companies which use resume parsers so don't make a fancy resume because as soon as the parser starts reading your resume the program starts reading your resume it cannot understand it and it cannot transfer that information to company's database so that technically means my resume since it was a little fancy in the beginning it never made from the parser and then uh, there is some particular set of words that people are generally looking at so uh, 
being an engineer i understand this that hrs generally don't uh, really know what the technologies are they just know that okay i want this general criteria and they have been given some buzzwords from the managers to filter out the resumes and hiring people are generally who interact with your resume first rather than people who actually have technical skills or who actually know the technology better so you should use such buzzwords for example uh, you would find that if you go to linkedin and start reading out on the job descriptions from good companies like amazon and other so you'd find that those guys would have uh, explicitly uh use some words that they would require for example uh in the current scenario uh version control systems or git is one of the requirements generally you would find it that you should have experience with version control systems then you would find that there is particular language and frameworks that they expect you to have experience with for example uh, uh say you are doing python then they would generally expect that you know flask or django which is one of the two most famous frameworks out there uh say if you are uh, trying for uh, something like a data science job or uh, something in the field of ml they expect that you have a good grasp on numpy matplotlib related stuff so when you design your resume you should focus on putting those buzzwords in your resume so that when an hr looks at it and she's or he is telling from their list okay this guy has this skill your buzzwords actually match those skills uh so making your resume in a way that it has the particular buzzwords which generally people can understand will be one thing which will actually uh allow you to get into the interview because the first process is always you submit a resume somewhere and most of you will be trying for jobs outside the campus also so when you try for that the first thing is your resume should look good and it should get selected and to do that it should be simple enough uh, so i have seen that there are people who prefer uh, simple resumes over uh uh two page three page fancy resumes i have seen people who who think that if it is a single page resume the person might know less and i have uh, actually made single page resumes for myself and i have got those selected as well so you need to focus on stuff that matters like the buzzwords like the particular name of a technology that you know if all those things are actually in your resume uh single page resumes might work but for freshers it is generally like we follow the pattern right uh you start telling about uh, your education you start telling about what you know you start uh, describing your projects so if you want to go for that uh you can that's that's like really good and i believe the most of uh, classes from cdc uh in personal development i already told you that your resume should not be more than two pages and you should strictly stick to that uh and you should always uh try to uh look at what are really the industry things which are going on say for example uh you know that there is uh you wanted to make a website you took uh some just basic html ajax and uh, maybe dot net related stuff to do that that's fine but uh if i am filtering out some resumes uh, i will not really go for uh, the dot net stuff rather than going for the dot net stuff i'll go for someone who has actually used some uh, rest api backend and some front end framework because that is what is actually more in demand in the market so uh whenever you choose your projects choose them wisely uh whenever you choose the buzzwords which you want to put on the resume choose them wisely some of the buzzwords which i can tell you is you so what i have generally mentioned on my resume have been uh the operating systems i'm familiar with 
Windows. Linux is always something which will get your resume a little more weight. So if you are familiar with Linux, that is going to be very, very much helpful for you in the industry because uh, in past two years, uh, so I worked for two companies. I did internship for one and I'm working in another company right now. So uh, when you're a developer, most of the time you will be actually using Linux rather than Windows. So if you are familiar with the platform, the company will be more confident that they will need to train you less. And uh, if you are familiar with the platform, uh, you will be familiar with the tool chains, which will help you to use the platform in a better way. Uh, so in my current job, so uh, I actually uh, work in a team which makes Linux operating systems. So uh, having the knowledge of Linux helped me out uh, a lot during my interview process for this company because they were specifically looking for someone who knows Linux because uh, the level of uh, detail we go in here is uh, very deep. So if you don't have basic knowledge, uh, no one can, uh, no one will be willing to put uh, a lot of effort on you. So I'm not saying be experts in particular technologies or these things, but you should know them. That will be uh, much, much more helpful for you. So uh, this was mostly what uh, you should be focusing on to get filtered for an interview. Now, uh, once you got an interview call and once you're in the interview, uh, usually people ask you to choose a language of your comfort. And when they do, uh, if you see that, uh, say the job description actually had Java written on it, but you know Python better, or uh, you think that uh, those guys were focusing on C, but uh, you know something else better. Always take the language language you know better. So uh, while my internship uh, before joining Sonic Wall, I did took a interview for a, a, a media company, which was uh, handling the telecast of uh, TV channels and stuff like that. And uh, during that interview, uh, their, their most focus was on C, but uh, usually the interviewer asks you that whatever language you are comfortable in, you can use that. And uh, that thing you should actually use for uh, your advantage. So since I was much, I was working in Python at that point of time, and I was much more familiar with the standard library of Python at that point of time, I used Python. And I was able to impress those people that much that they explicitly told me that, okay, we, for this profile, we are looking for someone in C, but we can actually offer you a job in another profile, which uses Python. So know your tools, show off your tools when it's the right time to do that. Uh, if you are comfortable in one technology and you think that the interviewer don't really want that technology, but you can uh, actually, you are free to use whatever you want use the technology you're comfortable in because uh, in that way you can really uh, uh, show your problem solving skills because uh, one of the major focus uh, whenever someone uh, is taking your interview is always uh, that they should be focusing on this guy is able to solve the problems or not. So in order to do that, uh, uh, people have to uh, be able to see your problem solving skills. And uh, if you use a uh, language, which uh, generally don't really, uh, you know, so for example, you're trying to solve a problem in C, but you're better in something else. And you know how to solve that problem in something else. Uh, you will always make mistakes and those mistakes uh, fire back on you. Uh, I remember there was in my first interview in Bangalore uh, was for a very big company, which was like technically the first company in Bangalore from US called Texas Instruments. And 
they were like they were literally uh giving ridiculous amount of money for that job and i was so excited for that interview that i wrote a sql query uh reversed i used the clause clauses in the reverse order just out of excitement so uh try to avoid excitement while you are in the interviews because uh that will always fire back on you uh try to be calm uh try to focus uh on the question and the easiest way to solve that questions because uh there is uh a general uh, preemption that the simplest answer is the best answer that's how human brain works so always try to use the simple answers uh because the interviewer sometimes might not be familiar with the technology you are using the interviewer sometimes might be way good in the technology you are using and they can start uh circling you around with questions questions and questions one more thing that from my interview experience uh i gained was always be truthful whenever uh, you are in an interview someone asked you a question don't stall them uh that's like a very bad thing i did that in some interviews myself uh in my first interview the reason i didn't got selected was because uh i wasn't honestly answering the question the interviewer asked me that if i offer you a development position right now would you take a technical writer and i started beating around the bush and uh that was a bad thing which i understood later on so these things actually uh you learn by uh the experience and in the current interview i am in i remember that i was asked 15 question in the first round where they were filtering me i said no for five of those questions because if you don't know something say that i don't know it and uh, i really thought that i am not getting a second interview call uh, in the end of the interview uh, my current boss and who is taking my interview told me next time uh, read things related to this and next time when i actually went for the second round he did ask me those questions he just wanted to check was i actually curious enough to fix my mistakes so whenever you sit in an interview and uh, you actually have something uh that uh, is a question that you don't know just try to read about it it will always help now uh i'll move on to the second thing what is actually needed in the industry so honestly i'm not a big fan of javascript but javascript is something which is uh quite in demand right now so uh if you are if you are still thinking that what you should focus on in terms of getting into the industry focus on a javascript framework which will always help you so uh there is a very good demand of react angular js and node js in bangalore and in chandigarh so if you focus on these it will be better so also python is a very good uh, option but uh, i have seen that in my experience there is a lot of python developers in the industry right now and because of that you won't get a very good pay in python so uh, if you are really good in python yeah definitely then you will get a very good pay in python but uh, if you are still thinking like okay what should i be focusing on uh in order to uh get a new job focus on some javascript frameworks if uh, you think that you have a good understanding of c and c++ you can actually focus on some good language like golang which is there and it is in demand a pretty good salary in golang as i already told you industry generally expect that if you know a version control system like git and you understand git github related stuff that is always a plus uh if you know about linux that is always a plus uh that is like the general criteria they expect from the freshers uh now uh i'd like to request uh uh you sir so that uh, we can start the qa uh, if you guys have any questions let's
uh, have a question and answer. If you guys have any questions, please. Hello, Himanshu. Hello. Okay. Yes, Himanshu. Actually, ma'am has also joined with us. Oh, uh, good morning, ma'am. Uh, good morning, Himanshu. How are you? I'm great, ma'am. Uh, I hope you're doing good. Yeah, I'm doing good. Congratulations for the position. <laughs> ah, thank you, thank you. Uh, Thanks. So how it's how it's going on? Uh, uh, things are going great, ma'am. Uh, uh, mostly uh, because of uh, the situations with COVID. Uh, it's been almost a year. We are doing uh, work from home now, so uh, that's one part. Another is uh, since. 90% uh, of my team uh, is uh, not in India. So work from home is not something that I am feeling very weird with because uh, I've, I've got a chance to work with people all over the, the places. Uh, I have people in my team which work from US, people in UK, people in Ireland, China. So okay, that's great. great. So how you manage the time? Uh, so, uh, it's for India, we are two, three engineers here. Uh, we mostly work from eight 30 to four 30. That is the official timings. But, uh, since our manager is from Ireland and their time zone starts at 12. So we usually start at working at 10 and we work for six, seven so that we can have some time with them as well. Okay. So you are now senior associate engineer. Yes, ma'am. Software development. Great, great. So, our students, you can ask any questions to him, Anshu. So, he can yes, answer you directly if you have any kind of question that how the it's, you know, environment in company and anything else if you want to know. Yes, students, if you're having any doubt, you can ask from him, Anshu. We are just left with four minutes in the meeting. So you can kindly ask from Himanshu. Yes. No one is having any doubt. Yes, you can raise your hand if you're having any kind of doubt. I guess uh, okay. either it was a very... I guess the students are not having any doubt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, either I did really good or I did no, really no, it bad. It was really good. Himanshu, it was really good. Actually, your experience, the way you explained your experience, the way that you have mentioned that the resume should be there, it was like really good. Thanks, ma'am. Uh... Okay. So, so, guys, this was about the alumni reconnect. So if you think that after this, you are having any kind of doubt in your mind, so you can contact me. I will be giving you the contact of Himanshu. You can contact him directly. Himanshu, you would be available for them? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'll be available. Yeah, can... Himanshu would be available for you if you are having any kind of doubt like related to the industry that what are the trends in the industry? What are the lines that you should focus on? What are the skills that you should hire to get hired in the industry? So you can contact your alumni Himanshu Sharma. He is passed out in the Bash 2019, right? Yeah. And we will be having further alumni reconnect also. We will be having more alumni with you. Like uh, we will be presenting them also in front of you. So this was the first meeting that we had. We will be having further more meetings also. So I hope that you had really uh, like enjoyed and you had really gained knowledge from this meeting, right? So um, we will be sharing a feedback from uh, with you. So you should fill that feedback form. You should give feedback regarding this, the alumni meet that held today. Okay. So we are going to end this meeting now. Is it fine, Himanshu? I'd like to have an expert talk, uh, Himanshu. For the, our students uh sorry ma'am can you please repeat in future we would like to have expert talk from your side for our students yeah that's that's completely in fine any with technology me, uh, which you are doing 
Well, ma'am, uh, that's really a complicated uh, thing to answer. So, uh, my job profile is uh, more like a system engineer. Uh, we work on making a Linux operating system from scratch. Uh, so, uh, in order to make some different components, I write Python, I write Golang, uh, I write C. So, uh, there is some stuff related to cloud. Uh, okay, that, that yeah. is it's uh, totally up to you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So in future, we would like to co conduct this session. Sure. Sure. Uh, yeah. I'm. I'm always uh, available whenever uh, you guys find that it would be uh, possible to organize one. Uh, please uh, contact me, and we can have a session. Yes. 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 Sure. sure. We already had uh, organized a session with you in the previous semester. Okay. So Himashu, we are going to end this session now, right? Thank you, Vachudi ma'am for joining with us. Okay, Shri Himanshu, thank you. Thanks for sparing your time. Thank you for the opportunity, ma'am. It was great to interact with all the people. Uh, it always feels good to look back in the time. And uh, it always feels good that if whatever I have uh, gained as experience over time can help someone, it is always a pleasure to uh, share the experiences. Okay, so thank you, uh, all the students. Thank you for joining with us. I guess the meeting is going to end now. Okay, so thank you everyone. You can leave the meeting. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you, Himanshu. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay.